Ashley's getting her trekking poles out of the compass and we are fixing to hike. I think it's called Coyote Run Trail. The trailhead is right over there. But I'm gonna make a brief stop by the restrooms over here and show you all there's a swim beach and a very long pier sticking out in the water over there. I guess that's what that is. I'll give a better look at that later. Really nice playground for the kids. That may just be to keep the wake off of the swim beach. I'm thinking it's just a wall. Nice day use areas, picnic tables, barbecue grills, your trash can. Nice and warm today. I like how they have little roofs built over the picnic tables. volleyball net. Alright, I'm gonna go in here and we'll get on the trail soon. Now this is a day use restroom area. So let's head back to the trail. Always ants in Texas. Coyote Run Trailhead. I believe they said this one was 4.5 miles or 4.1 miles. 4.64 miles. Ashley's trying out her new, new tricking poles. A lot of y'all don't know, but she suffered some injury to her back and been having treatment and just now getting back to where she can halfway walk on some of this rough stuff. We tried to pick a smooth trail and we thought if she had the trekking poles it might help stable herself on some of these rougher areas. We're going to take it easy and we're not going to push it and just see what we can see. So far there is some pretty big rock on this trail. I don't even know that I towed them where we were at. Or towed them where we were at. Tell them where we're at. Right at Cooper State Park in northeast Texas. 
Yeah, Cooper Lake State Park. Here's Cooper Lake right there. And this is the beginning of this Coyote Run Trail. And if you do have any mobility issues, this is not going to be just a walk in the park. So. We'll talk a little more about the trekking poles that she got a little later, but they have the anti-shock spring built into them. So far it's learning to use them because you're supposed to go Certain way. opposite foot to pole and right. it feels weird. <laughs> that curves through here, don't it? Mm -hmm. We just passed a couple and they said they saw a big foot ahead, so they turned around and going back to the video. I think they were just pulling our leg. <laughs> <laughs> Did you seriously just ask me that? How do I respond? We're gonna go find Bigfoot if he's up here. They say Bigfoot's in Texas too, so not just Arkansas. Looks like we got a snake up here in the trail. Let's see what it says. It probably says Bigfoot ahead. Nine one one information. Cooper Lake State Park South Sulphur Unit, Sulphur Springs, Texas. So we're gonna continue on that way, and we'll pick up some more video in a bit. Oh, there it goes, right? Okay. Let's see here. Coyote Run, four point five miles. Are we going backwards? Okay. So, she's already having issues with her toes tingling and stuff, so I don't want her to push anything right now because she's still going back to the doctor in like another week. So I'm just going to walk ahead a little ways to try to get an idea of how some of this trail is. And then we'll spend time exploring the park marking some good campsites so we can come back here and camp and I know that y'all getting a lot of wind right now it's warm but it's windy as you see the trail comes on around this way and it's downhill so I probably should have done a little more research and tried to find a paved hiking trail because this trail here to right here is just 0.25 miles so the first year hike this year may be cut short. So anyway, this is what this trail looks like. The road's right over there. Really big old cedar trees. I definitely don't want to get down this trail and we can't get her back to the vehicle, so I told her to go ahead and start heading back. We'll get there. It's going to take time, but we'll get there. But anyway, I'll see y'all back at the compass, and we'll go explore Cooper Lake State Park. We'll get there though. 
getting to the point to where you can try is half the battle. There's that retaining wall that keeps the wake off of the swim beach. At first I thought that was a pier, but it's not. check out that side too. We decided we're going to drive around the south side and then we will go over to the north side and see what it is. Cooper Lake, also known as Jim Chapman, is a reservoir that was created in 1991. It impounds the South Sulphur River and Fork of the Sulphur River. It provides water supply storage for the North Texas Municipal Water District, the Sulphur River Municipal Water District. The lake is known as a preferred location for fishing in the region. Species likely to be caught are blue and channel catfish. Florida largemouth bass, crappie, and hybrid striped bass. The Texas Parks and Wildlife Departments Cooper Lake State Park is located on Jim Chapman Lake. The lake was formerly known as Cooper Lake, but was renamed by an act of Congress in 1998 to honor Jim Chapman, a former congressman from nearby Sulphur Springs. Cooper Lake State Park retains the earlier name. This is a day use area. Like I said, there's a fish cleaning station here. I have a feeling it walks down to a pier. There we go, Sunset Cove day use area. There's the trail we was on that we couldn't finish. And, but there's several other trails over here on this side. It looks like a restroom right there. Picnic tables, barbecue grills. Here's the fish cleaning station. It's like the dock is washed out. I don't think you're going to go down that.
Hey, we are at another day use area at Cooper Lake State Park. Big parking lot. And they've got some trails over there. And it looks like they're paved. And there's another over there going somewhere. We'll check that out in a minute. But first, I want to walk over in here and check this area out. I see the fish cleaning station. We drove through and checked out all the campgrounds, or checking out all the campgrounds, and we're circling the ones that, if we came here to camp, uh, the ones we had tried to reserve. That way you're not just reserving something blind, which we've done several times. It's a real nice fish cleaning station. some kayakers coming up I also noticed that they rent kayaks here cool. looks like the water's a little bit low right now pretty cool we're gonna walk back up and see what's at that other end. So we'll pick up there. We just come in from right here. This is a loop, and according to the camping map, this is a more or less a hike in tent site area. So I thought I would walk out on this point because if I was going to camp over here, the point's where I'd want to camp. So you can see there's several sites. There's one here.
Then you've got one back there. One right there. I'm going to take a shortcut and avoid all that rough dirt. One right here in the middle. These were the ones I'd be after if there's a flat enough spot. One right there. This one would be kind of, eh, it's not very flat right there, but it could work in a pinch. This one here is a little more level. A little bit low. Let's see, 92. There's a place back there you can set a tent up. They're not real low. The ones, of course, up on top would be the levelest. These are more level. One there. And then we're back to the parking lot. So that's your one of the tent camping loops. Hiker stuff in. And we got a little bit more to explore here. So let's get to it. With two park units, you'll find plenty of room to roam. Bring your fishing pole, your hiking shoes, your horse, your swimsuit, or just bring yourself. They're only 90 minutes northeast of Dallas. Doctors Creek on the north side of the lake, which is where we're at right now, and Sulphur, or excuse me, South Sulphur is on the south side, and they both offer tons of amenities. You can fish, picnic, swim, boat, paddle, water ski, hike, bike, bird watch, study nature, stargaze, ride horses, geocache, and camp. You can rent a pavilion for your next group event, and you can take a virtual tour with the interactive trail maps. Surrounded by the state park and wildlife management areas, the lake provides a peaceful fishing and paddling destination. Bring your own boat or kayak, or rent a single or double kayak at either unit. They have boat docks, fishing piers, fish cleaning stations. Remember, you do not need a fishing license to fish from the shore in a state park. Camp at one of their sites with water and electricity, or at a walk-in campsite. They also have campsites at South Sulphur Unit that you can bring your horses. 
Both units have screen shelters and cabins. South Sulphur also has 14 cabins with kitchens and bathrooms. Don't forget to check out the town of Cooper while you're in this area.